Yo, what's poppin' everybody? This is Kay and you're watching Gains on Camera. Welcome to the second episode of Questions on Gains. That's QOG. Um, yeah, I got a bunch of questions last week about fitness and I'm gonna be answering two of those questions today just because I think these are very essential and important questions. Um, one of them has to do with my workout schedule and just like how to split workouts throughout the week, which I think is one of the most underrated things about fitness. Just trying to split your workouts into a way that helps you achieve your fitness goals, right? Whether that's like to gain muscle or to lose fat or whatever it is that you're trying to do. Yeah, so the other question was about fat loss. So I'm gonna tackle the fat loss thing again just because I think it's something a lot of people are struggling with and that's why you see a lot of people um, coming out and asking these questions about fat loss. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna talk about that again today. Yeah, so today I'm doing a leg workout, right? This is gonna be a killer leg workout. That's why I'm sitting on the bed right now. This is basically the calm before the storm, right? Today is gonna be absolutely brutal. I set up um, my diet so that today is a cheat meal just because of the extra work I do when I when I do legs. Um, yeah, I'm actually gonna kill it today. You guys are gonna see that. Um, if I'm not sweating in this video, just let me know in the comments and uh, I might just punish myself and do another workout later. But yeah, <laughs> this is QOG episode two. Let's get it. Now, I don't know about you guys, but cause are a muscle group I struggle with the most when it comes to like building muscle. Every other part of my body I seem to have a handle on, my calves, like, I mean, they're way bigger than what they were before I was like um, doing calf workouts, right? But they're still not at the place I want them to be. I know you guys out there that do workouts and like leave out calves from your workouts or leave out legs as a whole, get out of the gym. So the first question was how to split workouts throughout the week, right? Um, in terms of like how to schedule your workout plan the best way for, I don't know what goal uh, in particular this person who was asking this question had, but essentially it's just like, how do you split your workouts, right? So um, there's a wide range of answers to this, but I think the main thing to understand is that you need to make it specific to your goals. Your workout schedule needs to be tailored to what it is that you wanna achieve in the gym. If you wanna build muscle, your workout schedule should be tailored towards that. If you wanna lose fat, your workout schedule should be tailored towards that. And it shouldn't necessarily be a workout schedule that everybody else has, right? And that's what people need to understand is there's no one workout schedule, right? A lot of people, like, they cling to these workout schedules that other people are doing because other people, you know, look bigger or they look more shredded and whatever it is. And it's like, nah, you need to make a workout schedule that's specific to you. And that's what's gonna help you achieve your fitness goals. So another thing you need to know about making a workout schedule is you need to ensure that all your muscle groups are catered for, right? You need to make a split that dedicates time to the different muscle groups you have. You don't want to be one of those people that has a large upper body and a tiny Johnny Bravo type lower body, right? You want to ensure that all your different muscle groups are catered for. So whether that means doing calves on Monday and quads on Tuesday and biceps on Wednesday, it all depends on how much time you have to actually put work in the gym, right? If I'm working a nine to five job and I don't have all the time in the world to work out seven days a week, I'm gonna set up my schedule so that I do dedicate time to all the different muscle groups, but it also fits within my schedule. You understand where I'm going here? It's different for different people. Your circumstances determine whether um, you're able to make it to the gym and your body type determines what you do in the gym. But you also need to make sure that all your different muscle groups are catered for. I've seen too much of people going to the gym and just doing biceps. I used to be one of those people. I literally used to think this was what the gym was. 
That's all I did in the gym when I first started out, right? And that didn't work for me at all. I looked like an idiot. People would ask me, what are you doing in the gym? I'd be like, I'm doing biceps, bro. And it's like, that's all I used to do, right? So you need to make sure that your different muscle groups are catered for. Regardless of what you're doing, it benefits you to split muscle groups and try to dedicate time to different muscle groups in your body. Because muscle groups are like kids, right? Unless they're grown up enough to feed themselves, you can't feed them all at the same time. You have to give them all individual attention. my next point which is beginner versus advanced level workout schedules right so if you're a beginner you can't expect to have a workout schedule that's the same as a person who's been working out in the gym for two years right that's because their needs are different from yours the way their body reacts to the strain they put in the gym is different from the way your body's going to react if you've been working out in the gym for two years doing a bunch of different muscle groups on the same day like having a whole upper body day and having a lower body day won't work as well as if you just started in the gym. That's because there's only so much strain your body will react to. Your body's not gonna keep developing from the strain you're putting onto it because you're not putting that much strain. You've been working out in the gym for the past two years. You know what I mean? Your body can't grow every time if you're doing the same thing over and over again, right? That's why you need to shop your body. You need to change up your workout schedule if you're an advanced gym goer. Right? You need to do things differently so that your body can keep reacting to those different things because your body only grows to adapt. Right, Your body is only trying to adapt to what you're doing that is different. Now, if you're just starting out in the gym, your body is going to react to any strain you put on it. Why? Because you haven't been doing shit for the past two years. That's why. So even if you have an upper body, lower body split, your body is still going to grow. Right, You're still going to gain that muscle in the gym and that's because you have shocked your body right you're doing something different from what you were doing before and your body's going to try to adapt to that by building more muscle in order to better prepare itself for the next time that you work out but as you go along you're going to want to start splitting that even more because you can't keep putting the same amount of strain on your body if you're working the same workout schedule all the time if you have a day when you're doing back and biceps that's a little more isolated so you can put a little more strain on those muscle groups and your body is going to try to build those specific muscle groups in order to adapt to the strain. In a way, the simplest way I can explain it is I need to keep reminding my muscles that they are needed, right? I need to keep reminding my body that my quads, my chest, my biceps, that we need these and you shouldn't get rid of them because they're being used and they're important, they're essential. So when I do back and arms twice a week, it's so that through my caloric deficit, my body doesn't deplete those muscles in order to gain more energy. Now that doesn't mean that my muscles don't rest and this is something that's very important when you're considering setting up a workout schedule, right? You need to give your muscle groups enough time to recover because recovery is very essential. So if you're working legs two times a week, right, that's two out of seven, right? So five days in a week, you get to rest and that's so important. Recovery is so important for your body. In those five days that you're doing other muscle groups like chest and arms, 
your, your legs are recovering. All those people that are in the gym six days a week training the same muscle group. Bro, you need to calm down. You're not Bruce Lee, okay? Another reason I do legs or whatever muscle group twice a week, right, is because now that I'm cutting, my body is less likely to give the same amount of strength and intensity in the workouts that I do. So if I'm doing biceps and I used to lift 40 pounds on the dumbbells when I'm doing curls, it's very difficult for me to do that now, right? So I'm down to like 30 pounds, or I'm down to like 35 pounds, whatever it is. Right? Because that intensity has lowered, I need to get up my volume. So you need to find a perfect balance between volume and intensity. If you can't, if you can't do the intensity part, try to up your volume. And if you can't do the volume part, try to up your intensity. which is essentially how to lose body fat in specific places like your chest and your lower body. Now I think it's very important to um, tackle this question just because I wanna emphasize that you don't need to focus on a specific muscle group to burn fat in that area. You don't need to focus on doing abs to burn belly fat. You don't need to focus on doing biceps to burn arm fat, right? Burning fat is a combination of the overall exercise you do combination of the overall strain you put on your muscles. It's essentially your body adapting to the fact that you need more muscle than you need fat storage. You need energy. So it burns the fat in your body to provide energy to fuel those muscles which are doing work. So if you're doing legs and you're doing compound exercises which are very important for burning fat, you're going to burn fat in your belly, you're going to burn fat in your chest, you're gonna burn fat in your arms, right? If you're running, doing cardio, which activates so many different muscle groups, you're gonna burn fat in so many different parts of your body. So don't worry about doing chest in order to burn fat in your chest. You will burn fat if you're doing enough exercise in the gym, you're doing compound workouts, or you're doing cardio, you're activating different muscle groups in order for your body to burn that fat because it needs the energy. Now, I will say one thing. In order to look more muscular, you definitely need to target certain muscle groups, right? So if you wanna look like you have a more muscular chest, or if you wanna have a more muscular chest, you need to do more chest to build your chest. That way it looks more muscular. If you wanna look like you have a six pack, you look like you have abs, you need to do ab workouts. That way your ab muscles are gonna grow and become more defined so you can see them. But that fat is just not gonna burn if that's all you do. You gotta do more stuff, you gotta do squats, you gotta do deadlifts, stuff like that, compound workouts, because you're activating more muscle groups and your body's trying to adapt to that. So yeah, whoever asked that question, listen, just keep grinding in the gym, make sure you're putting in a lot of work, make sure your diet is in check, you're on a caloric deficit, and that you're lifting enough weights, doing compound exercises, because ultimately, that's what's gonna lead to that fat burning. It's not gonna be doing bench press, it's not gonna be, you know, just doing those specific things for those specific muscle groups. It's gonna be doing shit that activates different muscle groups and puts more strain on your body so that it adapts. That's it for my video, guys. Thank you so much for watching another episode of QOG. Please like, share, and subscribe if you found this useful, which you did. <laughs> Thank you so much for the support. Go crazy in the comments, ask me questions. I wanna hear more of your questions for my next video. Thank you so much for watching, gang.